So let's, as a demo, Shouldn't let's. Shouldn't you have a glove or something? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I do this. It's a video camera. Yeah, I Shouldn't know. Shouldn't you have a glove or something? Because <laughs> he's sick, that's what. So what I do is I put it here in front. And what we can do is take a look at your watch. Sorry about that. Take a look I'll at your watch and see, you know, where we're at. So now I'm starting to expose it. And one of the things to look at is to see if it's, you know, starting to smoke and change color and char. And, you know, what's going on with this fine fuel? Well, not much of anything. Right? But the flames aren't looking at Okay, hang on. <laughs> that, you're serious. right there. <laughs> okay. You, you have missed, you have clearly missed your, your calling. Your mm -hmm. calling. Because that's exactly right. We don't have flames looking at it, right? Okay, so let me know. I mean, when you well, get you're 30 more. seconds into it. We're 30 seconds into it right now. We'll leave it, we'll leave it there for a while. Okay? Only if, if for no other reason than to, to bring home the point. Okay, so you're at a minute right now. Okay, we're at a minute. And this probably should convince you that it could probably be there for a long time. And not really do anything. You know how cr long crown fires last at a particular spot on the ground? And this is an important point. Anywhere from 20 to 40 seconds. Right. That's it. At a particular location. If you just watch one spot, say, well, how long is flame going to be there? It's not there very long. This has been there much longer than a crown fire is ever at one particular point. So if this, okay. was, if this was a little cluster of material sitting out in front of an approaching crown fire, um, the crown fire would have been dead and gone, and this stuff still would have been So now... So, so now, what that's for... No, no, no pictures yet. What I'm going to do, what I just did was I got our pilot igniter ready because I'm going to pull this away, okay? Uh, yeah. Sure. So I'm going to pull that away. This didn't really do anything. And now we're going to look at this piece of wood. Now, if we were to look at this piece of wood as a wildland fuel particle, we would say this is definitely coarse. This is definitely on the coarse side. This is not the kind of particle that would be rapidly spreading our fires. Okay? This is more like what you maybe would have a sample on the side of your house. If it was in a wildland fire, it would be burning long after the fire had passed by. It would be burning behind the front. Okay, are you ready with your watch? Ready when you are. Now. Seconds. And this is my pilot igniter. decomposition products. So, so this piece of wood was undergoing rapid decomposition because of the heat. Mm -hmm. So the cellulose, which is just a saccharide, it's just like sugar, a, a sugar polymer, and it's, when it's heated sufficiently, it starts breaking up. Mm -hmm. Those chemical bonds are broken and it comes off as lighter. The smoke that you saw were, were lighter products that were flammable as it turns out, and then at a sufficient concentration, they mix with the oxygen in the air and I can light them. And what happens is that I was able to start that reaction up in the smoke and then it went down and made, con made attachment to that surface. Okay. Okay? You guys have probably done that.